Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. No other God can be called Father. God bless you. God bless you tonight. Welcome. God bless you, blessed beloved. Something beautiful is happening tonight. Death said, Beloved, tonight is a night that the heavens shall be open. Jesus, you are the beautiful one. We love your name. Praise him, exalt him tonight. Let's appreciate him for a new day. In his presence. Let's glorify him for what he said to do. God bless you. God bless you, beloved. We have an appointment with the Lord tonight. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Bless you, people, as we are connecting. Tonight is a night of open heaven. We are going to the third heaven tonight, and something beautiful is going to happen tonight by the Spirit of the Lord. God bless you. the fragrance of your holy name. We praise you. Beloved, can we begin to talk to the Lord our Father tonight? We need a third heaven encounter. I'm telling you, tonight is going to be a night of encounter like no other. Please talk to the Lord. Father, thank you for this mid midnight hour. Lord, we love the fragrance of your holy name. We praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We celebrate to the righteous one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord tonight. For what the Lord is said to do. Thank you, Lord. Ba, 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 ba. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for what you are said to do. Holy Spirit, we ask that you glorify Jesus tonight over every life connected. And we vow to give you the glory and the praise, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. You are welcome tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Tonight is a beautiful night that we are going to have a beautiful encounter with the Lord. I sense in my spirit that tonight is going to be a night to be much remembered for. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today I'm bringing you a revelatory experience where we tag the mystery of open heaven. And we're going to be taking time to enforce it in the place of prayer tonight. We're going to be taking time to seek the face of the Lord. To ensuring that the heaven is open over your life. The revelation that the Holy Spirit will bring in our ways today. Please take advantage of, of, advantage of it, beloved. I know something beautiful is going to happen tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want to read to you Luke chapter 3. Karababa, verse 21 to 22. I was to church service on Sunday. <laughs> that was the first service after almost two months plus. We had a wonderful service here in Abuja. Uh, we thank God for the help of God through all the Fridays we'll be having because of the lockdown. Uh, we're going to, there's going to be a little uh, readjustment. It may not be every Friday again. Church is back. Uh, but we'll let you know. Hallelujah. We'll let you know. We're glad that a lot of people are reconnecting. It's behaving a lot of people spiritually. Our joy to see that people are connected to God and to their purposes in life. The mystery of open heaven. This is one of the most blessed messages you have heard in your life. I want to read verse 17. Um, that would be too much. Let me read verse 21 to 22. Hallelujah. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was opened. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him and a voice came from heaven. We said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. The focus tonight is understanding the outcome of open heaven over a life. Now let me talk to you, beloved. One of the greatest discoveries you can make in this earth, okay, in this terrestrial book called earth, one of the best and greatest discoveries you can ever make is to know the state of heaven over your life. That's right. What do you mean? You can know the state of heaven over your life. Because there are two things actually that can happen to heaven over a person's life. Number one, we saw in Deuteronomy 28, verse 23. The Bible says, And thy heaven that is over thy head. The Lord was talking to the people that if they don't obey the word of God, he said, the heaven that is over your head shall be brass. Somebody said, God forbid. So there are two things actually that can happen to a, to a person's heaven. Number one, a heaven can be closed over a person. And that is not our subject tonight. Number two, the heaven can be open over a person. We can see that in the ministry of the Lord Jesus. Before ever he started his ministry, before he became a blessing to humanity, the first thing that happened was the heaven was opened over him. Tonight, heaven shall open over you in the name of Jesus Christ. The question is, can you really know if the heaven is open over you? Yes. Since you can't see the heaven physically, how do you know that the heaven is opened over your life? 
Can I ask you a question? If a woman is pregnant, you can't see the child physically, but can you know a woman is pregnant? That's right. Why? The signs are there. <laughs> the signs are there. That this woman, this lady is pregnant. You didn't see the child physically. But through the signs, you know, huh, sometimes entered. In Mark chapter 4 verse 11, the Lord says, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The mystery of open heaven, when it's at work in a person's life, there are certain indications, there are certain signs. I'm going to show them, show you seven of them very, very briefly. There are seven, call it, symptoms or indices that is revealed over a person whose life the heaven is open. So what happens when the heavens are open? It's going to happen to your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Number one, when the heaven is open over your life, you will begin to experience the visions and dreams of God. When the heaven is open over your life, you begin to see visions and dreams of God. I'm going to tell you the implication of this in your life. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kiba, that the heavens were opened and I saw the visions of God. So number one, when the heaven is open over your life, you begin to see dreams from God. You begin to see visions of God. I want to read Deuteronomy. Uh, let me read another scripture for you that is going to shed more light to that. Baraba Saint Teleba. I tell you tonight, something definite, something is going to be now you will never forget in the name of Jesus. I want to read Genesis 28. Malabanda Ribu Sokoba 11 to 13. And Jacob lighted upon a certain place. And tarry there all night. You used to hear of tarry night. Because the sun was set. And he took up the stones of that place. And put them on his pillows. And lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed. And behold, a ladder set up on the earth. And the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it unto thy seed. Hallelujah. When the heaven opened over your life, how do you know? You begin to see dreams and visions of God. What is the implication of, those, of that? Two things. A. That means divine dreams and appearances will swallow up evil dreams and satanic visitation. That's right. When the heaven is open over your life, when you go to sleep, what you begin to see are divine dreams and visions. He said, I, my eyes was open and I saw the visions of God. And this is what that will do for your life. It will swallow up evil dreams and satanic visitation. For somebody watching tonight, heaven shall open over your life. Bad dream, satanic visitation shall expire tonight in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen to that. So number one, you begin to see visions and dreams that come from God. And we said it implies that divine dream will begin to swallow up satanic visitation. Number B, you will begin to wake up with a holy awe and reverence of God. You are waking up. When Jacob woke up from his sleep, he said, what? He said, the Lord is in this place. You begin to wake up every morning with a holy presence around you. You carry an aura into the day. You carry a sense of the presence of God which you have encountered in your sleep. 
into your day. Malaba Santa Libaya. I want to prophesy to somebody from tonight. Divine dreams are going to swallow up evil dreams in your life. And divine visions are going to overtake satanic visitations in your life tonight in the name of Jesus. So number one that you see is you begin to receive visions, messages from the third heaven. Secondly, what happened when the heaven over a person is opened? Please guess it. In that Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 where we read, it says in verse 3, Then the word of the Lord came expressly unto me. And in Genesis 28, I want you to pay attention to this. What the Lord said to Jacob in Genesis 28 verse 12 to 15. And in dream and behold a ladder set up the top of which to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father remember this is the first time Jacob was hearing the voice of God the God of Isaac the land whereon thou liest to thee will I give it and to thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed what is the second thing that happens when the heaven is open over your life you will begin to receive strategic instructions and directions for your life hallelujah anybody trusting God for direction that only becomes possible when the heaven is open over your life. You begin to receive certain direction. You begin to receive clarity of direction concerning the affairs of your life. And that will have at least two implications in your life when you are receiving direction from God. God said to Jacob, Jacob, he said, I will never leave you. That this land, this very land you are, you are the line now, I'm going to give it to you as a possession. Not only that, you are going to bring forth to the west, to the east. That is, there is going to be enlargement in your life, Jacob. And God said, verse 15, I will never leave you until I fulfill all these prophecies and promises to you. What will direction from heaven do to your life? Two things. Number one, it will eliminate confusion. Do you understand that? There will be a note of specificity about your life. Do you know why a lot of people are confused about their destiny? They've never really, really heard from heaven. So, okay, let me try this. Let me try this. Let me enter this relationship. Maybe, maybe to work. So, a child of God is now living a life of try and error. You know why? The heaven is closed. But tonight, I prophesy. Your heaven shall be open in the name of Jesus. So when the heaven is open over a life, you receive strategic direction. By the grace of God, I was serving under one of the greatest apostles of this time. The great servant of God. That the Paul and nature. There is no way I would have left such a ministry. That is, this is a, 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 a frontline ministry doing great. And, and I'm just enjoying myself serving the Lord there. But a voice came from heaven. A name of a ministry was given to me. I didn't, I didn't just go say, hey, I want to search him. No, it was a heaven spoke and the name was given from the throne. That will eliminate confusion about your life. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, heaven will open over your life. Directions is going to come. For somebody watching, you are saying, what is the next level of my life now? What is this next season? You are sensing that something is about to be, to be birthed. Tonight, heaven shall appear to your joy. I say, heaven shall appear to your joy in the name of Jesus. So, now, once the heaven opens, you will enjoy strategic instructions. You see? He said, the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel. And it will eliminate confusion. What again is the implication when you begin to receive strategic direction from the Lord? It will impart clarity and confidence to life's pursuit. 
Do you get that? It imparts clarity and confidence to the pursuit of your life. That is, this cause I am on now. I'm not just on it because I want to be. I am in the center of God's will for my life. Excuse me. You don't understand the, the, the confidence that will impact your life. Uh, this business I am I am doing now, I'm not just doing a business trying to get rich. This is what God has commanded me to walk into. When the heaven is open over your life and you receive certain direction, God said, I'm giving you this land. There, there is no ambiguity. There is no confusion about it. You know. And then when you are pursuing to get that land, there is confidence that I'm going to get this. Hallelujah. You know the great apostle Paul? That's right. It was a man given to open heaven experience. In fact, the first time he gave his life to the Lord, the first time he met the Lord, the heaven opened and the master came in form of a mighty light. Again, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, he began to say, God took me to the third heaven, to paradise. You know what he said? He, know, he said, I know whom I have believed. I said, I am persuaded that everything I have committed to his hand is able to keep. He wasn't just talking something from head knowledge. There was an encounter that furnishes such statement. Excuse me. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, the heaven shall open over your life. Clarity of direction is coming. And there's going to be confidence about your life's pursuit. Somebody shout hallelujah. So, number one. You begin to see visions and dreams from God. Number two outcome or mystery of open heaven is this. Strategic direction will come. Daughter, that is not a good man for you. Son, that is your wife. Uh, this is the business I want you to go. And this is uh, the, the course I want you to study. Because the heaven is open over your life. Number three, what happened? When the heaven is open over a person's life. I show, I'm going to show you something quickly. And we're going to be praying. Number three, when the heaven is open over a person's life, in Luke chapter 3, where we read about the master, verse 21 to 22, the Bible said the heavens were open, and I saw the Holy Ghost descending like a dove upon the Lord, and a voice came and said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. I mean, he has not done any work for the master. He has not done any miracle. He has not preached any message for, recorded in the Bible. So what is the meaning of that? Number three, when the heaven is open over your life, you enjoy divine advertisement and announcement. That's right. What did I say? When the heaven is open over a person's life, you don't struggle to introduce yourself. You don't struggle to announce yourself. When you see a person, you say, I want them to notice me. Notice me. You understand? He's a person whose heaven has not been opened. And when the heaven is open over a person's life, here the child of God, or over a company, or over a worker, over an employer, or over an employee, when the heaven is open over your life, you see, heaven advertises you. Heaven, you know, announces your life. Today you will enjoy divine advertisement. Imagine heaven goes to town to advertise your company. <laughs> Can I tell you something? There are two implications when heaven starts announcing a person. The great servant of God, the great apostle, I serve under the ministry. I see that multiplying the ministry God committed to him. He said, I saw that in my dream. I saw that in my dream. Even in foreign country, I saw that in my dream. What is the meaning of that? Is heaven advertising that my hand is on this life? Yeah, 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 yeah. Heaven shall advertise you. There are two implications when heaven announces a person. Number one, this is the secret of favor and strange opening. Favor and strange opening. Hear this. When heaven advertises a person, no man can reject it, such a person. I'll tell you an example of, of maybe one person in the Bible today. Can I profess over somebody's life by the anointing? After today, you enjoy divine announcement, divine advertisement in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you something. So, the implication of this is the secret of favor and strange opening. People you never met begin to develop interest in you. I 
How may we help you? How may we help you? You, you look sharp. You look like somebody that I know. No, it is heaven that has gone ahead to introduce you and to announce you. In fact, another implication of this is it is the secret of protocol suspension. When heaven announces a person, announces a life, announces a calling, announces a business or a life, hear this. There are certain protocols that will be that, that will just be suspended because of you. Do you remember the lady called Esther? That's right. Hear this. There was no way Esther would have stood side by side in the same place with Vashti. Do you know Vashti? Beauty pigeon, beauty queen. Her husband was so proud of her beauty. Day. Bring Vashti. Let her let come and display the way God created you. Kakatu se pele baraba. He said, let, let them come and see the beauty queen God has given me. How will Esther stand side by side? And you know what? To make the matter worse, Esther refused to ask for artificial advertisement. I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> She refused to ask for mascaras. What do you call those things? Make sure they're for me. <laughs> she re the Bible says she requested all of the kings to know nothing. What? Oh, that's her put. I'm sorry. You know this makeup can change the face of a lady. Ay, 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 Do you know the people you want to compare with? And you refuse to ask for all those gadgets and all those makeup? What what will make you to think you have a chance there? Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I operate with the God of Abraham. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. The moment the heaven opened over Esther, hear this. When the king saw Esther, heaven introduced Esther by himself. Baba God said, This one is my daughter. Marry him. The king didn't hear a voice, but heaven has introduced. He said, please stop. Every other, everything suspended. I have found my bride. Without the makeups? What are you talking about? I'm talking when the heaven is open over your life. I want to speak to somebody by the word of the Lord. What makeup cannot do in your life? Heaven will do it. What human advertisement cannot do? Heaven will do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Young lady, I'm speaking to somebody. I'm speaking to a young man. Get ready. An announcement is coming your way tonight. A divine advertisement is coming your way tonight in the name of Jesus. Excuse me. Do you marry a lady without knowing her background? Let me say, you just see a lady today in the market. Okay, you just to get to the pastor, pray for me. I'll find a wife. At least, won't you even know which stage she's coming from? Won't you even know her people? <laughs> what? How come? How come? The king couldn't say, and eh, who is the father of this girl? She's from which she's from which country? Of which national are you? She, whenever he's advertising a person, there are certain protocols that will be suspended. People will be wondering which charm are you using? It's no charm. It's just that heaven has Akula Bandala Boshindalaba. Heaven has decided to do what? To announce you. Can I prophesy to somebody? Liparo Shindalaba. In this season, the God of heaven shall announce your life. The God of heaven shall advertise your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord, announce me. Say, oh Lord, advertise your glory in my life. Say, oh Lord, announce me. Say, oh Lord, advertise your glory in my life. So he says, thank you, Jesus. Heaven shall announce you tonight. So number one is what? That's right. When the heaven is open over a person, you begin to see visions and revelations of God. It will swallow up evil visitation. Number two, you will begin to receive strategic directions and strategic instruction. This business you are doing, do it this way. Don't sell on social day. Go begin to go to market only three times in a week. And do this, do this, do this. Strategic instructions when the heaven is open. Number three is divine advertisement. 
and announcement. Number four, in Luke chapter 3, verse 21 to 22, we read. He said the Holy Ghost, when he said, I saw the heaven open and the Holy Ghost descended bodily on the master. What is the meaning of that? When the heaven is open over a person or a life, you receive divine enablement and empowerment onto life's assignment. Karababa Santa Levaya. You see what? Divine enabling capacity is released. Empowerment to fulfill your destiny. When the heaven is open over a person's life. Hayalabando Robo Shindalabakasi Brotozaya. That is, you receive capacity to manifest inherent potentials. Uh, what has been packaged inside you from eternity. The moment the heaven opens over a life. The Bible said the Holy Ghost came in a bodily shape like a dove. And said, the time for the assignment has come. You receive the capacity to be who you are meant to be. Not another person. And then you receive empowerment to do what you are meant to do. When the heaven, so I'm saying this because we shall be praying in a few minutes. Then you will know when to, the, to pray this prayer passionately. When the heaven is open over you, the empowerment to be who you ought to be. You know why a lot of people are, 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 are shadow of themselves? I say several times, I say, I'm not looking to be like a great man of God, this great man of God. Anybody that knows me, I all know fathers. Passionately, nobody talks against fathers and hang around me. I don't have such people. Anyone I see, I cut off. But I don't pray to be this great servant of God. No, they are motivating me to pursue my calling. But I want to be who He created me to be. Hear this: When the heaven is open over your life, you don't become a copy of somebody else. You become the original you that is inside. He just, he just, he just pop it out. A lot of people want to be Miss Nigeria. So some are fasting by all means. It's not fasting for spiritual benefit. They want their neck to be long because they want to be Miss Nigeria. You don't need sister. You are beautiful and not the way you are. Ah, yeah, yeah, la, ba, 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 ba. Don't become somebody when the heaven open over your life. Eh, there is empowerment to make you what you ought to be and then empowerment to do what you ought to do in life. You know what? It's like an eagle let loose in the air. You see the eagle soaring. 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 What is the implication when the heaven is open and you see a permit of your destiny? You will know a life of fulfillment. That's right. A life of what? Fulfillment. Not just frustrating as knowing what you ought to be, but you couldn't be that because there are certain forces resisting you. But to now, such, for, such forces shall be crushed by the power of the Holy Ghost. And then you are going to soar like an eagle and fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. Number five, quickly, number six, number seven, and we start praying. I'm talking about the mystery of open heaven. When the heaven is open over your life, what do you begin to experience? This one is beautiful. You begin to explain the showers of heaven. Experience what? The showers of blessing, the showers of heaven, the showers of blessing. You know, in first King chapter 18, verse 51, just wrote it down, note it down. Elijah said, I heard the sound of abundance of rain. And James chapter 5, verse 17 tells us, Elijah prayed, and the heaven gave rain. Ezekiel 34 and verse 26, God says. They shall be showers of blessing. Let me read that to you because that's so beautiful. Hala, ba, 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 ba. Ezekiel 34, verse 26. And I will make them and the places around my hill a blessing. And I will call the showers to come down in the season. They shall be showers of blessing. When the heaven is open over your life, and to open over your life. Hear this child of God. You will enjoy what is called showers of blessing. Do you know why a lot of people. Things seem to be tight and tight and tight. They struggle on themselves. The heaven is closed. But tonight your heaven shall open in the name of Jesus. 
There are three, three implications of this when you begin to enjoy the showers of heaven. When the rain of heaven begins to water your life. No wonder Isaiah 27 verse 3, God says, I will water you every moment when your heavens are open. He said, no one will be permitted to hurt you when your heavens are open and I'm watering you. He said, no one will be permitted to hurt you. That is the first implication. When a person is enjoying the showers of heaven, God said, I will watch over you every moment. You read the Isaiah 27, 27 verse 3. He said, less any hurting. No, a second implication or B implication, when God begins to water you with the water of heaven is this. It eliminates dry season out of your life. Anybody hear me at all? Please get set to, to pray tonight. You are going to pray yourself finish until the heaven open over your life. Dry season comes to an end today in your life. Dry season financially. Dry season spiritually. There are people who can't sense nothing about the presence of God around them. You know why? The heaven is closed. But when the heaven is open and you begin to enjoy the showers of heaven, I mean the showers of blessings, it eliminates dry season. Number C, what is the implication of enjoying, enjoying the showers of heaven? It is called, it bad fruitful season. What? Fruitful season. That means you are working and you are seeing results. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. From this day, both you, your loved one, your husband, your wife, your children, as you walk, you will see results in the name of Jesus. When the heaven is open over a person, it bad fruitful season. And what has not been working before suddenly begin to blossom because the heaven is open. Also, number next, when you begin to experience the showers of heaven, you know what will happen again? It facilitates refreshing season. Refreshing. You are working, but not under tension. You know, there are people, some people are working actually, but it's under tension. But when the heaven is open over you and you are enjoying the showers of God, you begin to experience refreshing season. You are walking with ease. You are walking, you are seeing not just results alone, but it's coming with ease. I prophesy that over your life in the name of Jesus. I have two more. What happens when the mystery of open heaven is at work in life? Number six. This one is mountains we melt away. Get ready tonight. Every mountain in your life shall be dissolved by the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Let me read it to you. Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 1. Oh, that thou would rend the heavens, that is, open the heavens, that thou would come down, that the mountains might flow down at your presence. What happened when a person begins to enjoy the mystery of open heaven? Hear this. Age-long battles, I'm talking about mountains, will dissolve when heaven opens over your life. Problems and challenges will naturally give way when heaven opens over a person's life. Kalabanda rebu the prophets hold that, that you will rent the heaven and come down, that the mountain may melt. Melt. The mountain you have been trying to command to move. Once the heaven open over your life, he said the mountain will melt tonight. And there's a mountain of fire, brother, will disappear. There is a mountain of, of barrenness. As I'm speaking by the word of the Lord, there is a, a mountain of barrenness that will disappear. A mountain of chronic singleness will disappear. A mountain of joblessness. A mountain of constant fear in the hour of the night. It will disappear in the name of Jesus. Hear this, child of God. When the heaven open over a person's life, heaven will never share your life with problems. Barata Santa. Challenges may come, but once the heaven is open over your life, it dissolves the mountain. Please don't forget that. And lastly, tonight, this one is beautiful. This is beautiful. Ezra chapter 3. This is the last one before we start praying. Ezra chapter 3. I want to read verse 7 to you. And then verse 8. Someone say, Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about the mystery of open heaven. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry. 
because of their master's master for i know their sorrow and i am come down heaven has opened now i am descending to deliver them out of the hand of the egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey can you imagine that a land flowing with milk and honey what is the meaning of that number seven while the heaven is open over a life captivity expires that's right when the heaven is open captivity must expire do you remember Acts chapter 16 verse 25 to 26 Paul and Sarah were kept in captivity in prison but as the heaven opened over their life bam the captivity turned around tonight captivity in your life shall expire I don't know whether it's from witches, wizard, whatever has taken you to captivity. It shall expire in the name of Jesus. Hear this. There's a difference between a believer having a problem or challenges. That is number six. But when a problem has a person, that one is called captivity. Do you understand the difference now? Eh? When a, a person has his problem, that's a different thing. But when the problem now has the person, that one is called captivity. Do you get the difference now? Eh? So there's a difference between a person problem just melting away. Then there's a difference between a person now, a, the problem has the person. That is, the person has been taken to captivity. Are you aware there are some people why they're not progressing? It's not that they are not making frantic effort. But certain power has taken them to captivity, has taken them to the land of Egypt. But tonight you are coming out. Somebody say I am coming out. Say I am coming out. Say I am coming out. You will come out in the name of Jesus. Now, what are the keys to the mysteries of open heaven? I will mention four quickly in passing and talk about one. The first mystery that you need to understand if the heaven is to open is repentance. What? Repentance. Write it down. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, God said in verse 13, if I shut up the heaven, there is no rain, there is no blessing. Verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and turn from their wicked way and pray and seek my faith, is I will hear from heaven, I will answer their prayer, and I will hear their land. So the first thing is repentance. We must repent. A person living in sin, thinking heaven will open, that person is living in a world of dreams. So number one is repentance. Number two is covenant work with God. This one is predicated on obedience and sacrifice. Let me tell you something. You see, I just read Genesis 28 to you, right? About Jacob. He had lighted a place and he slept. Are you aware Jacob never prayed and heaven opened? Jacob did nothing. But the moment he lay on that ground, but you know what? Abraham has raised an altar on that same ground. Study it. His father, that's when God appeared to him, he said, I am the God of your father. He didn't say, I'm the God of your grandfather. He said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. I am the God of Isaac. The land you are like, because Abraham had raised altar there. So there are four ways by which the heaven can be opened. Number one is repentance. Number two is a covenant work with God, which is predicated on obedience and sacrifice. Number three is a consistent life of tithing. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. He said, prove me if you bring the tithe, if, you, if I will not open the windows of heaven. So tithe, a consistent tithe, opens the windows of heaven over a person's life. Now the one we will be focusing more tonight, of course, you have to follow the progression. The three have to be there before this last one. This last one is a life of prayer. So don't forget the three I've talked about. Number one is what? That's right. Repentance. Number two is what? A covenant war with God. The obedience to his instruction. A life of sacrifice. And number three is what? Tithe. Wherever church God has placed you, be faithful there to God. Be faithful. Some people will pay tithe today. Next month they will not pay. The other time, you see a lot of people running with their mouth wide on social media on tithing, tithing. Because they do not know the covenant of their God. Well, that's for their own. Number four is prayer. And that's why we shall be praying a few minutes now. Hear this. Anybody that can really, really pray will receive an open heaven over his life. It's been proved in the Bible. In Luke chapter 3, verse 21, where we read, the Bible says, others were being baptized, but Jesus being baptized and praying. Doing what? Praying. 
All they were just entering the water. Wow, hey, it's a nice exercise. It's a religious exercise. But for the Lord, it means business. What kind of prayer opens heaven? Number one is aggressive praying. James chapter 5, verse 16. He said the effectual father prayer of a righteous man, I feel it more, is aggressive praying. You are praying, the totality of your being is involved in the prayer. You are praying. You see, there are people who pray, and after the prayer, they say, What did you pray? They are trying to remember what they pray. <laughs> Can you pray like a like their prayer and you forgot the, the content of a prayer? There are people when they are praying, they are still praying. Father, they are they're sleeping and praying. Do you know the way Elijah prayed? He put his face between his knees on the mountain. Can you be praying that way and sleep up? You will turn over on the mountain. <laughs> that is, it was aggressive prayer that opens the heaven. Hear this. The chariot of God, a chariot of fire. It is fireful people that can ride on them. So you want to able to open. There are some forces that will say no because they know the implication was heaven is open over your life. So they will do everything to suffocate your prayer life. But they will never succeed in the name of Jesus. So it's aggressive prayer. What do I mean? What kind of prayer opens the, the heaven? It is passionate praying like the Lord Jesus prayed in Luke chapter 3. Passionate praying. When you are praying, your spirit is involved, your soul is involved, your body is involved. Every part of your being the Bible said the days of his flesh, he cried with a mighty voice and he was heard. Passionate praying. You put yourself inside your prayer. Do you understand that? Eh? It's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a prayer of... Uh, because once the heaven open over your life, you are set to for life. So it must be passionate praying. And what do I mean lastly? It must be desperate praying. In Ezra chapter 3 verse 7. Do you see what the statement the Lord said? He said, I heard their cry. He didn't just I heard their prayer. He became a desperation for the people. We must come out of this captivity. We must come out of this captivity. We, he, he, God said, he didn't even just I heard their prayer. He said, I heard their cry. Their prayer ascended before heaven as a cry. He was a desperation. You either deliver us or we are done for. Beloved, it's time to pray now. I want this element to reflect in your prayer while you are in your room right now or your living room. I want this element. What, what element? I mean, pray aggressively. I mean, pray passionately. I mean, pray desperately. Kapuri taleba soko barande leba santalia. Male kuso branda. Men who have enjoyed open heaven, they, they, they go to a point of desperation. Can I tell some of our tellers, man? A man of God who opened. They walk to mass miracle service and all manner of things. He went to a program of William Braham as we start to pray now. He saw the man clap his hand, half of the stadium fell under power. People were coming from wheelchair. Say what? And he went to India for about two or three years. No single soul was won. The gods of India dealt with him and he ran back to United States of America with his wife, Daisy, husband. Three years or two years of missionary effort, no single soul. And then, plus, on top of that, the 360 million gods of India drove him back to Jerusalem, America. When he saw this man demonstrate about God, he got provoked in his spirit. Jesus is alive. I must seek him. I must find him. He told his wife, I'm entering this room until I see the Lord. He began 18 hour praying every day. Lako sopo ratata. Liku kopa ratata. Look up and do the First day, nothing happened. Second day, nothing happened. Third day, 18 hours. It was, it was a note of desperation because you are a failed missionary. What are you going to prove that God called you? Fourth day, nothing happened. Seven days, eight days, he was still praying. Master, my life must change. The heaven must open. He continued that until the second week or about the third week. All of a sudden, bam, while he was in his room, the heaven opened. The Son of God, the Lord Jesus, walked into that room. When he saw the Lord, got up. He said, Lord, I went to India to preach. The Lord said, yes, I know. He said, the Lord said to him, I say you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your you have sought me and I have come for you now. He said the Lord said, open your two hands. 
He said the Lord placed his palm on his right hand. He said millions of electricities, volt, voltages enter his body. He wanted to summon. So he said the Lord said it in. Bring out the second one. Ayala Bandara Basantalia. Somebody will receive an open heaven encounter tonight. He said, the Lord said, bring the second hand. He placed his hand again. Bam! Electricity, fire from heaven rushing to it be. The Lord said, you will sit me and find me when you search me for me with all of your heart. The Lord said, my son, go in peace. Ay, 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 ay. Do you know the confidence that that will impact your life assignment? But that encounter came on the frequency of desperation, passionate, praying, and aggressive cry to heaven. He came out of that room. He knocked the door. The wife opened. The next month, he found himself on the way back to the same India. When he's like, While he was still ministry, thousands gathered. No, like, just a month, he came out and went back to India. Some of you, after tonight, an anointing is going to enter your life. You will go back to your village. You will return on a venture mission. Some of you tonight, swords shall be released to you. Some of you tonight, angels of fire shall begin to release to be released to you. He said, what, before he could finish preaching, blind eye began to see. When he said, how many of you want to give your life to Christ? 50,000 people, bam, lifted up their hand. You know why? He has sought the law on the note of desperation. Tonight, you will seek him and you will find him. I said you will seek him and you will find him. Do you understand what God is saying tonight? We want to enter the mystery of open heaven. Let struggle cease in your life. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, it's time to pray now. Would you like to pray with me? Lift your voice to and say, Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for the provocation of your word. Thank you for the light. Thank you for the fire. Thank you for, for the revelation of tonight. We are about to pray tonight. And we have some prayer to pray because the heaven must open. Lift your voice, child of God, and begin to appreciate him. I tell you, somebody, there is a fire visiting somebody tonight. There is a glory coming the way of somebody tonight. There is an encounter from heaven. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain over somebody's life, somebody's ministry, somebody's health, somebody's spiritual life, somebody's life journey will be redirected because a voice shall come. From the excellent glory tonight. Lift your voice and thank him. Because we are about to pray tonight. Thank him for the word you have heard tonight. We have said seven things that happens when a person enjoys the mystery of open heaven. We have said number one. You begin to see visions and revelations of God. You, 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 it will swallow up satanic dreams and visitations. We said number two. When the heaven open over your life, you receive strategic instructions and directions for your life. Number three. We say when the heavens open over your life, there will be divine advertisement, you see, and announcement. Number four, we said, there will be divine enablement. There will be empowerment unto life's destiny. And we said, number five, you begin to explain the showers of heaven, showers of blessing. Give him the praise. Number six, mountains will melt away. Age-long battle will dissolve. And number seven, we have said, captivity will expire. When the heaven open over a person, thank him for this war before we start praying. Liba Roso Brondo Sakatege, Ileba Bando, Rigi Didi Barato Sobrete Kapala. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you for the visitation of tonight. Thank you for the open heaven of tonight. Thank you for what you are about to do in this session of prayer. To you be glory and pray in the name of Jesus. Child of God, I wanted to pray. You know you are serious. That is, that's why we put this kind of prayer for night. It's not for everybody. You are going to ask of my father, if there is anything that will stand between me and an open heaven encounter, I make demand for your mercy over my life. Please open your mouth and pray. Lord, I repent of my sin. I repent of my shortcoming. I repent of my errors. I repent of my fault. Lord, have mercy on me. That tonight prayer must be something. Tonight prayer must be an open heaven experience in my life. Please, child of God, lift your voice and ask God. All I ask, Lord, tonight is your mercy. Ah, something is going to happen tonight, Master. Across the airways, I make demand for the mercy of the cross to flow. Let the mercy of the cross flow in the name of Jesus. Liparu shatata ambege de kapa. Calvary, Calvary will not be there. 
will not be in vain. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Tonight, nothing will stand between me and an experience with the master and encounter. It will give you confidence about your life. The ministry of pursuing now, together with my wife, is, it wasn't a guesswork. Heaven came as spoke. This is it. It wasn't a guesswork. You know, you a lot of you will not be able to dare certain things, but once you hear from heaven, you will know. He said, Jump, you'll be right there to catch you. Lift your voice, ask God, Father. Nothing will stand between me and your presence tonight. Nothing will stand. I have for your mercy. You say, If we confess our sin, you are faithful and God. On this ground, I make demand that tonight is the night of open heaven over my life. Certain demonic activity must be swallowed up. Satanic dream must be swallowed up. Satanic visitation must be swallowed up. Mountain must melt. Things must happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you say this after me now? We want to start the prayer. I want you to pray yourself into the heaven. Say, fountain of evil dreams in my life. That's right. Fountain of evil dreams. Say it again. Fountain of evil dreams in my life. Tonight, dry up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and let's start with that one. Fountain of evil dreams in my life. Tonight, dry up. Dry up. Because when the heaven is open over your life, here it is. Lick at that. The Holy God will swallow up every evil dream. You begin to see visions of God. Ask God every fountain of evil dreams in my life tonight. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Whatever is the source, that is the meaning of fountain. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. Fountain of evil dreams over my life tonight. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Where that evil dream that come from, which is wizard, marine spirit, water spirit, familiar spirit. Tonight, I speak to the fountain of evil dreams. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Child of God, open your mouth and pray. Tonight is tonight because your encounter has come. Lift your voice and pray. Le parush katanda le bratoba. Fountain of evil dreams. In the name of Jesus, dry up, dry up tonight, dry up tonight. La bada braku sobra da 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 da. Le brada gada gala gada gala gada gada sobra. Lige dege broto sakato se brata. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, say with me, Holy Ghost. Say it again, Holy Ghost. Open my eyes to the dreams and visions of God from tonight. Holy Ghost, open my eyes to the dreams and visions of God. In the name of Jesus, begin to open your mouth and pray. Ask God, Holy Ghost, as I will receive. Holy Ghost, open my eyes. Open my eyes to the visions and dreams of God. To the visions and dreams of God. Holy Ghost, open my eyes to the dreams and visions of God. If you impart clarity of direction to your life, lift your voice and talk to God. Holy Ghost, open my eyes to the dreams and visions of God from tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray, open your mouth, child of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lavada barato sabrata, lita bandora beso kobati titi rabos kobra, li parusha dende di mato to brata, ili kuko parata se de de lato, ileto zopa di katata lata. Holy God, open my eyes to the visions and the dreams of God. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. What a night, what a night. Li porondo la pasi ketika paroto ze brete kabako katila barota sa la barota sa. Holy Ghost, open my eyes to the dreams and visions of God. Ezekiel said the heavens were open and I saw the visions of God. The heavens were open, Father. Let the heaven open over me. It caused me to see the dreams and the visions of God. From this night, the dreams and the visions of God. The dreams and the visions of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Child of God, remember we said, when you begin to receive from God, confusion is eliminated. Say with me, spirit confusing my way. Power confusing my path. Depart in the name of Jesus. Spirit confusing my way. Powers confusing my path. Depart in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. We need to address this right now before we assess the third heaven. Open your mouth and decree. Spirits confusing my way. Powers 
confusing my path in life. Depart from my life. In the name of Jesus. Child of God, open your mouth, begin to pray. Begin to pray tonight. Every spirit confusing my way. Every force confusing my path. In the mighty name of Jesus. Depart from tonight. Depart out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Libroto sanda ribo so brute kekeka. Libada broto sende rebo coca kite le beritu za caparuda casite peruna cascata. Ila patune ketiga pa coco tiberi di gasata. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit confusing my way. Every power confusing my path. Depart in the name of Jesus. Confusion is eliminated out of my experience in life, out of my destiny. Confusion is eliminated. Open your mouth, child of God, and begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Confusion is eliminated out of my way. Confusion is taken away out of my path. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree tonight. No more confusion. Confusion. confusion has to go. Confusion has to what to do. Confusion has to who to marry. Confusion has to score the cost to study. Ask God from tonight. No more confusion in my way. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Tonight is a third heaven experience. Father, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let me speak by prophecy over somebody's life. That you are at a crucial junction in your life now. I take authority over the spirit of confusion. I take authority over every devil of diversion and confusion. I command it out in the name of Jesus. I speak clarity of direction in your life. In the name of Jesus. Please pray this prayer with me. Say, oh Lord, I receive instruction and direction that will advance my destiny in the earth. Say, oh Lord. As the heaven is open over me, I receive instruction and direction that will advance my course in the earth. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, as the heaven is open to now, I receive instruction. I receive direction in my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Instruction that will advance my life. Instruction that will advance my destiny in the earth. Open your mouth and pray. Something is going to come from heaven tonight. Somebody is going to receive a direction and instruction. Open your mouth and ask God. Lika kasanda rapa santa liba. Ile de de beretos ko brande ke tuso brakata. Ile tuso branda. Are you praying? Ask God for direction. Ask God for instruction tonight. Father, I have heard your word. I have for direction. I have for instruction that we advance my course on the earth. That we advance my destiny on the earth. Whatever destiny God has for you. You. There is an instruction that will advance it. There is a direction that will advance it. Ask God, Father, Liku Kaparata Tigea Kukopata Ligete Kurata Tala, Ilegetoso Brakasata, Ilepando Zatege La Coco Paratata. Father, tonight I make demand for direction, instruction that will advance my destiny. I receive as the heavens are open instruction and direction that will advance my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the precious name of Jesus. Someone say, thank you, Jesus. The next rapper you are going to pray, say, oh Lord, anoint me for announcement to my generation. Uh, introduce me to my helpers. Anoint me for announcement as the heaven is open over me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Maybe you are in the business. Ask God to supernaturally advertise your business. Oh Lord, as the heaven is open tonight, Anoint me for announcement. Anoint me for advertisement. Advertise your glory in my life. Advertise your honor in my life. Open your mouth, child of God, and begin to ask God. Oh Lord, anoint me for announcement. That's right. Anoint me for announcement. You advertise your beauty in Esther. Advertise your glory in my life. Advertise your honor in my life. Please, child of God, there is something inside you that if God advertises it, you are done for life. You are end, your life is settled. Ask God tonight. Father, as the heaven is open tonight, anoint me for announcement. Anoint me for advertisement. Advertise my business. Advertise your calling on my life. Advertise, advertise my ministry. Advertise what you have called me to do in life. I don't know the ministry God gives you. Maybe you are a musician. You are a teacher. You are a tailor. You are a, whatever you are. You are a businessman. Whatever it is. You are a politician. Ask God. Anoint me for announcement. Man. This 
can only happen from the third heaven. Ask God for it tonight. Le paro sende rebo so brande get over. Lord, tonight arise. Announce your people for announcement. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural announcement. There is a young lady watching, Father. Announce her to her husband. There is a young man walking, looking, looking for a job. And not announcing, but anointing him. Anointing for announcement to his employer. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Tonight, Lord. Lake teke parush gubrende, Baba. You spoke to Laban about Jacob. Speak to people about this person watching. Lake teke parush idike ke kuka parata tata. Ila kusho patakita. These are serious prayer from beloved. Ask God, anoint me for announcement. And announce me for advertisement. They will just begin to see something colorful out of your life. Do you understand? They begin to see something admirable. Something colorful. Something beautiful. They say, this is the lady we want as our secretary. This is the young man we want as our em- em- employee. This is the person we want. No, this is the one we want our, our, our son to marry. Can you ask God? Can you ask God? Father, what makeup cannot do? Let your announcement do it for me. What friends cannot do? Let your announcement do it for me. Oh Lord, as the heaven is open over my life, announce me by your power. Announce me for announcement. Are you praying at all, child of God? I told you about passionate praying. Father, this business in my hand, announce it by yourself. Announce this business. Oh, Father, announce this business by yourself. I make the mouth of angel of advertisement. Anoint me for advertisement. Anoint me to an- at- announce me. Open your mouth and pray. Labada Anoint me for announcement in this season. Anoint me for announcement. Supernatural announcement. Supernatural advertisement. You're calling on my life. In the name of Jesus. Receive supernatural announcement. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive supernatural announcement. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Say, Oh heaven, please say this one with all of your passion. Say, Oh heaven, advertise your glory in my destiny. Now, in the name of Jesus, oh heavens, open. Advertise your glory in my destiny. Advertise your glory in my life. Ask God for it now. Child of God, ask God for it. Instead of weeping and looking for me, ask God, Father, advertise your glory in my life. Advertise your interest in my life. Oh heavens, open tonight. Advertise your glory in my life. Advertise your interest in my life. Advertise your potentials in my life. Advertise your beauty in my life. Oh heaven, I open tonight. Advertise your glory to my generation. Advertise your beauty to my generation. Advertise your honor in my life. Lata praku shagalada ilakata tegita kaparu shigalabatabalaba. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh heavens, open, empower me. To fulfill your purpose for my life. Oh heavens, open tonight. Enable me to fulfill your purpose. Empower me to fulfill your purpose for my life. Open your mouth and ask God right now for enablement, for empowerment, to fulfill the reason He created you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. Tonight is a night of top heaven encounter. Father, let the heaven open tonight. Empower me to fulfill the reason you sent me to this world. Empower me to fulfill my destiny. I cannot be stagnated. I cannot be frustrated. I make the mouth an empowerment. I make the mouth an enabling. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, let the heaven open. Tonight in the name of Jesus. And Enable me to fulfill. Enable me to do what you, have, you caused me to do. What you have called me to do. Enable me to be who you have 
called me to be. In the name of Jesus, help me not to be a carbon copy. Help me not to be a, a, a photocopy. But I ask, empower me tonight. Are you praying, child of God? Are you praying, child of God? Are you praying, child of God? Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, let the showers of heaven, let the blessing of heaven begin to fall upon me. Now, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Oh Lord, let the showers of heaven, let the showers of blessing, because the heavens are open over me, let it begin to fall in this season. There's going to be a sound of abundance of rain coming your way. Abundance of blessing. Open your mouth and pray tonight. The showers of blessing, the shower of his presence, the showers of heaven, let it fall upon my life. Child of God, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Allah daba daba la gada gaba kushoda laba. Open your mouth and pray. Laba daba daba laba 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 shoba. Laba daba laba 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 let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Open your mouth and begin to pray. La ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la shoba. Let the bega la ba bega la kaja. Patu shoko ba. Let the kaja kaja. Bratu shoko ba. Brata ta ta ta. Let the kaja kaja. Patu raja ta ta ba. Jaka la kaja kaja para shapa. Father, showers of blessing. Are you praying? Ask God, Father, soak me in the showers of heaven. Soak me in the blessing of heaven from today. Let my smell communicate blessings. Father, soak. Me in the showers of blessing. Open your mouth and pray. I tell you, something is happening tonight. Something is happening tonight. Leba da barata ta 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 ta. Lebra to son de lege 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 de Shower me, shower me, Father. Shower me, Father, with the showers of heaven, with the showers of blessing. From this day, cause me to walk in the realm of the showers of the blessing from above. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say with authority in your voice. Every age-long mountain in my life, you know that mountain, maybe maritally, financially, or your health. Say every age-long long mountain in my life, tonight, melt away in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Call that affliction. Call that mountain. Every age-long mountain in my life, tonight, melt away in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every age long mountain. Let it fade away. Command the mountain to fade away. Let it melt away. Let every mountain, spiritual mountain, financial mountain, fade away. Open your mouth and pray, child of God. Tonight, every mountain of witches, mountain of familiar spirit, mountain of, of occultic spirit, and let them melt away tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Let every mountain, because the heaven is open over my life, melt away, melt away, barrenness, melt away, chronic singleness, melt away, failure, melt away, in the name of Jesus, constant disappointment, melt away, melt away, melt away. In the name of Jesus, let me speak over somebody by the word of the Lord. Every recurring disappointment over somebody's life, somebody watched, somebody connected somewhere tonight. I prophesy an end of every recurring disappointment in your life in the name of Jesus. Every mountain of barrenness. 
to a woman watching, to a man trusting over a baby, I take authority, I take dominion over every spirit of barrenness. They melt away tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit representing you as an evil person to your helpers. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Lord rebuke the oppression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I call it done. In the name of Jesus. You have only three more problems to pray. Say stop all problems. Say with passion. Stop all problems in my life. Melt away. In the name of Jesus. Stop all problems. Foundational problems. My heavens are open. Therefore, melt away. Melt away. Please insist on this prayer. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Every stop on problem in my life. Melt away. Melt away. Melt away. Melt away. Every stop on problem in my life. Maybe financially. Spiritual problem. Marital problem. Academic problem. Problem. Health problem. Melt away. Every stop on problem in my foundation. I address you by the word of the Lord. Melt away. Melt away. Il est pas tous pour prata ta sata. Il calou so prata. Il cala basu to baka shaba. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call it done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Le kete 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 kala kapara. In the name of Jesus Christ. Below you are two more prayers to pray. Marata ta ta sakaba. I'm glad it was happening tonight. I sense a wave of heaven open over somebody's life. For somebody tonight, you are going to have an open heaven encounter tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me with your voice with loud and passionate. Say, oh heavens, open. Expire captivity out of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Oh heavens, open. Expire captivity. Out of my destiny, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Oh heaven, open over my destiny, expire captivity out of my life. Let captivity expire in my history, expire in my foundation, expire in my destiny. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, child of God, open your mouth and pray. Lipa Rushka de Mele Barushka Banda Liba Rushka, Lite Tiria, Lipa, Lite Tetaba, Ruta Sata, Lita Tete, Tiki Tiki Tika Patu. Open the heavens. Open the heavens. Let captivity expire. Captivity expire. Captivity financially. Captivity spiritually. Captivity maritally. Captivity in my health. Captivity in my sleep, in my dream, concerning my husband, concerning my wife, concerning my children, concerning my grandchildren. Oh heaven, as we open tonight, let captivity expire in my destiny. Let captivity expire around my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Lastly, you are going to talk to God before I begin to pronounce blessing on your life. Say, my heaven, you remember? He said, the throne where we read, 20, 28, he said, the heaven that is over you, so there's an heaven over your life. This is the last prayer you are going to pray. Say, my heaven, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, open now, open now, open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Let my heaven open by fire. Open by fire. Let the heaven over my life, over my business, over my destiny. Open by fire. Open tonight by fire. Brother, pray this last prayer with passion in your heart. Let my heaven open tonight. You're going to see what the Lord is going to begin to do in your life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth, pray this last rapper. Let my heaven open by fire. Let my heaven open tonight by fire. Let it open. Let it open. Master. Le katata tarakata. Ishaka katata kalakata kabarako. 
Please insist on this one. Let my heaven open tonight. Let the heaven over my calling, heaven over my business, heaven over my marriage, heaven over my, my health. Let my heaven open tonight, tonight, Father. Let it take it let the heaven open, open, open over a young man here tonight, over this young lady crying with desperation. Father, hear the cry of this lady, hear the cry of this woman, hear the cry of this man. Let the heaven over this life open, 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 open in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father will lift you up. Father will lift you up. Lift your voice, beloved, and begin to give him praise. Begin to lift up his name. Begin to appreciate him for tonight. Begin to glorify him tonight. Begin to appreciate the Lord. He said, whatsoever we ask according to his will, he hears us. As we round up this prayer tonight, if you still feel a pressure in your spirit to keep on pressing the presence of God, please take time to ensure him that Father tonight the heavens are open, are open over my life. Thank him and thank him. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, there is no distance in the spirit. As we come into agreement with you now, and as I pray, these seven ways of blessings are going to come your way by the spirit of the Lord. Number one, I prophesy to your life in the name of Jesus. From tonight, divine visions, divine revelation, Swallow up evil visitation in your life in the name of Jesus. I prophesy by the word of the Lord tonight. Begin to receive strategic instructions. Strategic direction comes your way from tonight in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to your life in the name of Jesus. The direction that will move you forward. The instruction that will change your story, the instruction that will bring solution to that age long battle, receive it tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy by the word of the Lord. Where you could not speak, God will supernaturally announce you. I prophesy advertisement for your business, supernatural advertisement for your glory, for your potential. Receive it from heaven in the name of Jesus. I speak by the authority of Jesus. Empowerment to be all you have been ordained to be. Empowerment to do what you are meant to do in the earth. Kara da 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 da. Rikusipato na marata sakaba. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lekatata lekuska brata bola santa laba. I decree supernatural showers of blessing, showers of heaven to fall upon your life. In your sleep, in your dream, in your waking moment, in your office, in your going out and coming in, I prophesy the showers of blessing, the showers of heaven, the showers of blessing, the showers of heaven be released on you now in the name of Jesus. And I decree every age long mountain, age long devils, age long forces that will not let you go. I speak by the authority of heaven tonight. Your heavens are opened and the eight long mountain dissolves, melt away, dissolve, fibroid, melt away, barrenness, melt away, disfavor, melt away. In the name of Jesus. I take authority over the spirit of disfavor, the spirit of rejection, the spirit of depression. I bind you, I command you, come out in the name of Jesus. I command every pain in the body, I command it to be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. And lastly, I prophesy, every captivity around your life, 
whatever has taken you cap- to captivity, I command that captivity to expire. For when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. As you wake up in the morning, you enter a season of refreshing. You enter a season of fruitfulness. You enter a season of celebration. In the name of Jesus, may my God and your God appear to your joy from tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to live under an open heaven. A life of repentance, a life of covenant work with God, a life of consistency in tithe, a life of solid prayer life. Is there by release on your life. In the name of Jesus, I call it done. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Somebody say I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. Have you been blessed tonight? That's right. Have you received any ministration from the Lord? In the name of the Lord of hosts, I will hear your testimony. In the precious name of Jesus. Hear the child of God. Like I said, churches have resumed and we give God praise for that. So, we will let you know as we come up, especially on Fridays, we will let you know through our Facebook post. But till then, I want you to keep living in the atmosphere of open heaven over your life. God bless you. Till I come your way again, this is Pastor Mikey, who will tell you, Jesus is in control. Signing out. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We fade away.